Hey everybody, Marcus here with the New England Bushcraft Show. Uh, today for uh, the Walkabout Wednesday, I've come up to Maine to meet up with Zachary Fowler, the uh, winner of Season 3 History Channel's uh, TV show called Alone. Um, Zach, I'd like to have a chat with you and, uh, and kind of understand what got you into bushcraft, you know, because you, you, you thrived in Patagonia. <laughs> so uh, t tell us how that happened. Uh, I didn't get into bushcraft for the sake of bushcrafting or survival. I, I actually bought my land here like 15 years ago, moved out here, started out by living in a camper, and it was like, I went to garage sales, found books on like survival and things so that I could use them and come home and use them in like uh, uh, home, homesteading, gardening, um, where I could learn how to uh, harvest wild plants from the woods so I could put mushrooms on my pizza that were wild. Uh, you know, ha harvest wild edibles, and uh, and I had a woodchuck that kept getting into my garden, so I looked up a, a primitive trap so I could use it to catch the woodchuck that kept eating my cabbage, you know? So, and then next thing I know, um, after years of doing that and still building boats at the same time, uh, the opportunity came along to go out on a loan and take this one step further and turn it into almost, pretty much now it's a full-time career making YouTube videos about survival and, and shooting slingshots. Awesome. Yeah. So if you're involved in homesteading, if, you, if that's something that you're interested in or you currently do, um, I think you'll find that there's a lot you can learn at the New England Bushcraft Show with primitive skills and, and, uh, and, and other workshops that will be going on. So come and, come and join us April 28th in Charlton, Massachusetts. Find out more information at newenglandbushcraft.org. Hey everybody, Marcus here. I'm cooking up some steaks with Zach Fowler up in Maine. Um, Zach, I'm, I'm really interested to know, uh, you know, what interests you about the bushcraft, the New England Bushcraft Show, because we, we talked about it early on and you were quite, uh, quite excited about participating in it. Well, there really isn't anything here in New England of any substantial size that everybody can come and meet at. Uh, for bushcrafting or survival or or homesteading or gardening or all those things that will be kind of combined in this show and and it's a family event whereas most of these are you have to go to uh, halfway to Florida or all the way out to Colorado and it's such a long trek you don't get to see the people again this is New England so if you come out you're in New England you get to beat other people with like mindsets and it's family oriented I have a family and they we love having adventures together my girls are gonna love this we're gonna have a great time definitely come on out. I'm gonna echo that point. It is family oriented. I've got a five-year-old. He's got a, I think it was a three and a six-year-old. Um, we want kids to come to the show. If the if your kids are older than 10, we ask that you buy a ticket so that they can participate in the workshops and, and, and the classes. Um, if they're under 10, bring them and it will be free. Uh, just you know, come along and, and let them get outdoors and enjoy the, the activities uh, alongside you. So find out more information at newenglandbushcraft.org and we look forward to seeing you on April 28th. Hey everybody, Marcus here with the New England Bushcraft Show. Um, just finishing off cooking some steaks and uh, having a campfire chat with Zach Fowler. Um, Zach, w one of the things that I'm really pleased to be able to say is that you're not just turning up to the show to kind of participate as a, a you know as an attendee. You're actually going to be doing some things for us, right? So, so give us a rundown of the, the things you'll be yeah. You'll be doing at the show. I'll be at the show the whole time, and uh, so feel free to come up and approach me at any time. Uh, I got some baseball cards where we will hand out, and you can. Uh, from my uh, the, with my stats on my time out there on alone surviving 87 days, so we'll be doing a talk about that while I'm while I'm there, uh, like a little fireside chat. I'll be bringing down all the spoons and uh, the wizard staff I carved with my whole story of six symbols for every day, telling my story of my time out there on alone. Um, I'll tell that story and we'll hang out and do a little one-on-one -on -one chatting after um, with everybody, and then uh, I'm going to do a talk about how to make a slingshot. Uh, bring a couple bucks and I'll have slingshot bands and frames that you can whittle up while we talk about how to do that and you can walk away with a slingshot and a lesson from me on how to shoot the slingshot and become accurate with it. And then uh, lastly we'll be doing a talk about uh, how to film 
because I did so much filming out there alone. Now that's become my full-time career, filming YouTube videos about building my shelter here and having adventures in Maine and shooting stuff with slingshots. So we're gonna do that. We'll talk about how to film, what cameras to use, what cheap cameras to use, what expensive cameras, how to turn it into a YouTube video, editing and releasing the video, all of it. I'll let you know, let you in on the back door of all that stuff. So it's gonna be fun. Come on out, you don't wanna miss this. Excellent, thanks, thanks Zach. Um, we look forward to your participation. There's gonna be between 25 and 30 hours worth of programming. Um, so really plenty to do, whether it's uh, primitive hunting skills, fire lighting, or like Zach said, um, you know, making slingshots and recording videos. So lo lots of activities. Find out more information at newenglandbushcraft.org and we look forward to seeing you on April 28th.